Station. Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the brand new TP-Link X60 mesh Wi-Fi system. This was kindly provided to me by TP-Link to review for a period of time. So I'm really excited to be able to have this opportunity to work with them and also test this mesh Wi-Fi system to find out if this might be the right solution for you. So let's get right into it and unbox this brand new Wi-Fi 6 mesh Wi-Fi system. With it on the box, we can already see this is a massive device. And I would say, let's just start unwrapping this with the cutter. All right, this is very big, this box, this time around. Usually I'm unboxing smaller things. And yeah, what's really awesome about this, it's a Wi-Fi 6 device. So that means it will be able to handle all your brand new devices that will be coming up. All right, so we have a box inside a box, which is always very exciting. Let's see what's the best way to open this guy. Yes, it's one of these. And wow. Okay, the presentation on this box is honestly impressive. <laughs> like, I've never seen like a Wi-Fi system packaged this nicely before. So the first thing we see here is, hi there, welcome to the world of Deco. And we see here Deco, these are the three access points. One of these is gonna be the main modem and the rest of the two would be the access points. We already get a little explanation what the light status means, which is really cool. Download the app, turn off your modem, plug in the modem and the deco, and open the app to finish setup. So I think this is what we'll be doing actually. So let's just start here by downloading the app. All right, we've got the app installed. It's asking us to accept the terms and conditions. So let's agree to that. And we'll have to sign up. So I'll be doing this after the unboxing. All right, so let's go further in. I think we should start by taking out the individual deco units themselves. Here we've got one of them, and they are actually really nicely designed, a really minimalistic design on these guys, which is really cool to see. Got two Ethernet ports here in the back and a power. And last but not least, again, same, two Ethernet ports and power. So I'm now surrounded by mesh Wi-Fi. <laughs> and let's open up this clap. Okay, this is so nicely packaged. I am really, really impressed by how nicely done all of this is. So here we've got the quick installation guide. This is one of the power supplies. Another power supply. Last but not least, another power supply. And that's actually already all there is in the box. So let's take a look at these power supplies and yeah, continue from there. Everything of this is like really nicely packaged. So we've got one of the power supplies. It's a very slim design. Of course, it would have been nice to see a USB Type-C connector here. And okay, I was already wondering if we were getting an Ethernet cable, which would have surprised me if we didn't. But it's together with our quick start guide. That's actually a really cool Ethernet cable. Extremely flat. So what I'm really loving so far is like the really minimal design that these guys are having. So what I would say we do next is we should start testing the current Wi-Fi that we've got, seeing how it performs and then slowly start spraying these around the house. All right, so the current Wi-Fi system, it's nothing fancy. It's just the provider's default router, which, um, yeah, it's not really great. It constantly crashes. We need to reboot it every often, like every other day, and it's really not that nice. So um, I'm just gonna go around and take my phone and we'll do some speed tests and see how the Wi-Fi is performing. So we're getting around 64 Mbits down, 66. So our final test results, 66 down and almost 20, 19.4 up. Right, so our test results here in the kitchen, we get about 59 Mbits down and as it seems, 18.4 um, upload. So it's already decreased a little bit and let's just test upstairs. 
All right, and our next test will be here upstairs in the office. So it's going to be on the second floor. So we're still connected to the downstairs box. And as we can see, we're getting about not even an M bit. Can you do it? Yeah, 0 0.92. Surprisingly, the upload is better. <laughs> So as it looks in the office, we're getting about 0.9 down and 10.3 up. So what we can see here is actually my failed attempt at creating a mesh Wi-Fi network. And what ended up happening is this um, second router started colliding with the first router downstairs. So what I had to end up doing is actually renaming this network to a completely different network name. But the most frustrating thing is as soon as you walk downstairs, you end up with like a really bad reception either of this one and it takes forever to realize that it needs to swap to the next one. All right, so right now we're just on the terrace outside. Excuse the noise. It's quite windy today and let's just do one last test here outside and see how this performs. So our outside test results are 5.47 and 2.26. So down and up. So as we can see, this is quite a significant decrease to what the speed was inside. So with these test results, what I would like to do now is start going through the app and yeah, it says paint your home in Wi-Fi. So I think that sounds really awesome and exactly what we should be doing. So let's begin. We've got the X60 and here it's already telling me what you'll need. So find these in your deco packaging. You'll only need one deco for now. More can be set up later. So this is pretty nice. So it's guiding us already through the whole setup guide all in the app. So I really like that. So I think we should just get started with this. So this is what we will need to set up the deco. We will need, of course, one of the units, power adapter and an ethernet cable. So we've got all of these. Let's just tap next and it's recommending us to power off our modem. So let's just unplug this and continue with the setup. Right, with our modem unplugged, let's tap next and let's start plugging in our devices. So first we want to get started by connecting this guy to the power and then to ethernet. Okay, we can actually connect this to either port, which is nice. I'll just go for one, just out of simplicity. And we'll connect the deco to power. As we can see, <laughs> it's glowing on my hand. That's pretty cool. We've got a status LED right at the bottom here, built into it. So let's continue our setup. Plug in your devices. We've done that. Let's tap on next. Check your modem. So now we'll have to boot up the modem again, of course. Totally forgot that last step. Give me a sec. So our router and modem have started up. So let's just continue by tapping internet LED is stable. And as you can see, our deco is already pulsing blue. So we can already press on this button to continue the next step. Guess we'll need to allow it permissions to find the deco device. And it's already found it. So let's connect. Connection successful. Connected to Deco. Where have you placed this Deco? I have placed this in the bedroom and we're already connected. That's amazing. So I guess we can just continue right here, leave it as default and let the app finish setup. Let's create your Wi-Fi network. Let's create a good Wi-Fi network name. I'm just going to call this Deco for now and I'll give it a good password. Password has been created. Actually, one password's asking. Let's not save that for now. And now it's allowing us to already connect to the Deco. I will tap here, type in a password and we're connected. So the app right now is testing our internet connection and that's already it. The, de the network is set up. Let's tap next here. And this is the step where we can add more Decos. So I think let's go around the house and add these, these separate units. This will be actually pretty cool because I'm very excited to see how this performs. Oh wow, and this app is already telling us <laughs> it's firmware up update available and we're connected to our home network. All right, and I'll be placing one of the units here in the hallway. Let's just get this connected. Well, connecting that with one hand was a bit more tricky. Right, so back in the app, we can add now the next deco. All we have to do is press on the LED is pulsing, which it is right now, as you can see. And it already found it, which is pretty amazing. This is in the hallway. And wow, that's very, very nice. We can see the light here, glowing green, successfully added. 
Right, and we've got the Lance Deco connected, which is going to be the third one out of them. The app is already ready and asking us to add another one, which we can do now. It's going to be an X60. And we're on the second floor here. And as you can see here in the background, it's already blinking blue. So we can press on this button. Let's see if it can find it. And it's found the last one. It's blinking has stopped, it turned green, and we can give it a location. I'll just select office because the office is literally right around the corner here. And we can finish off by pressing I'm done for now. So our home network is finished. It's connected. We can already see my device that's connected here. And um, yeah, let's just do a quick speed test in all the locations that I've tested previously. So back in the office, let's see how the deco performs. We're connected to the new network now. And we can see we're getting a solid 50, well, 60 down, 64, 65, 71, and a whopping 17.2 up. So this test result is like already amazing. Let's go and test downstairs. Right, back in the kitchen, let's do one more test here. So we're still connected to the same deco network. We can see it's jumping around a little bit because this is a really hard corner to get to. But we can see we're at a solid 51, 51 down and 17.1 up. So that's, of course, a great result here. So back in the garden, a huge improvement to what we had before. Let's see the upload speed. Nice, solid 17 already, right from the start. Nice, and we're done. So outside in the garden, we're getting 39 down and 17 up. So I hope you've enjoyed my first unboxing and testing of the new Deco X60 Wi-Fi system. Thanks to TP-Link, they've lent this device for me for two months, so that means I can be really testing the ins and outs of the Deco X60, seeing how well this performs in a mesh solution compared to using just one router. And yeah, if you are curious for my final review, I'll be posting it once I've done all my testing. I'll be testing the ins and outs of the apps. I'll be testing how well the Wi-Fi performs, how stable it is. I'll be doing a lot of Zoom and Google Hangouts meeting, meeting through it. So definitely stay tuned for my review. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a thumbs up and write a comment below. It really helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, as always, see you in the next one.